I'm just on my way out to do a casting, um, but I'm not ready as you can see because I have uh, no makeup on and I haven't done my hair. And I just thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you my basic getting ready makeup um, if I've got a casting. And also to show you this new gel eyeliner from Avon which is just absolutely incredible. And there are a couple of old products in here and there are a couple of new products that I really, really love. So, I've done my moisturiser. And I've moisturised with Ren's um, Vitamin Mineral Radiant Day Cream, which is slightly richer than I would normally use for daytime. But I used the Clarisonic for the first time this morning, and um, and it, it's left my skin really, really smooth. But I'm just kind of being on the safe side in case it's dried it out. I, I'm sure it hasn't, but just in case, I'm using this one because it's very nourishing and very comforting. Um, just to make sure you know that my skin doesn't kind of have a freak out halfway through the day because if you're doing castings people are judging you on your skin unfortunately <laughs> that's the job so it does need to look amazing now because I've got a rich moisturizer on I'm going to use this new oh my god this new amazing um, tinted moisturizer just give it a shake um, by Laboratoire Remed and this is called Translucent UV Coat and it's basically an SPF um, which is good because this Ren moisturiser doesn't have an SPF in it and it's also a tinted moisturiser but it's just a liquid, it's a fluid it's just super super clever um, I'm going to show you right now the main thing about this is that you need to give it a really really good shake I'm going to show you it's an actual, you know, it's a liquid so just got that all over the carpet so if you can see there, it's just imparting the tiniest bit of colour. You know, it's not great coverage, but if you have good skin to start with, um, then, you know, it's just really nice to add that little bit of tint over the top of your moisturiser. Because sometimes I don't want a heavy layer, and I think my skin's looking okay at the moment. I mean, I've got a few little blemishes, but I'm going to go over those in a second and make sure that they're not visible. Um, so that just gives a really nice kind of sheen and also gives me my SPF protection. So if you've got generally good skin and you don't like to wear makeup, then that could be a really good one for you. Um, that's my new kind of top fave at the moment. So there, I've got my skin on. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of concealing. So if you can see there, I've just got some dark circles. And I'm passing that on and then leaving it a few seconds to draw, go a little bit tacky. And then put a tiny bit on that blemish there. And I know that there's one on the end of my nose, but I just think it would be ridiculous to try and sort that out. So it's very small, it's just there. So yes, let this go tacky so it doesn't all slide around the place. And then I'm just going to pat it in. And I'm doing that over the UV coat because that's sunk in really quickly. And... Um, you know, sometimes I find that if you put things over your concealer, because I tend to rub things in all over my face, and I'm not very discerning, um, I can find that, you know, the concealer gets shifted around a bit, so I'm just patting that on over the top. Oh, by the way, I've just caught sight of my nails. Isn't this the most incredible nude colour? And I just think it's the nicest, poshest, nudey beige colour in the world. So this is going to be my favourite for quite a long time, I should think. Unless somebody suddenly brings out some masterpiece of nail varnish. So, there we go. There's kind of skin pretty much done. And I just want to use this, which is a new Avon um, Super Shock eyeliner pencil. It's a gel eyeliner. It's a pencil, but it's a gel, if that makes any sense. And I'm just going to use this to put quite a thick line over my top lashes and then just line inside my eye. So for the moment I'm just going following the top lashes. Now I don't know whether you can see that but this pencil is just jet black. Um, really incredible. It's a really intense colour first time around, so if you can see there, you know, that's just once, just sweeping it over. Um, and once it's on, it doesn't shift. 
it really is, and I have to say this, one of the most amazing eyeliners I think that I've ever used because normally a soft cold pencil on me would just be all over the place. So now I'm going to go inside the eye. And I don't mind if it's a little bit smudgy because it, you know, I don't really do precise looks and I'm not a makeup artist and, you know, it's just me doing my makeup. So um, I think it really does make a difference though just to line inside the eye there. So there, I've lined both eyes, and I'm just going to do inside the waterline in the inner corners here. And then I'm just going to do a tiny flick, so I'm going to follow the line of the bottom of my eye. This pencil needs to be slightly sharper, but hey-ho. And then... just make a really tiny triangle shape. Now if you make mistakes, which I inevitably do, um, I always have some makeup remover on hand and some Q-tips and I soak them in makeup remover and make sure that it's, you know, an oily one so that it's really effective. And then it's just really easy to correct. So I'm just going to take off that end bit of line that I drew. So there. You know, it's not perfect, but as I said, I just do what I do and then go out the door. I never really have a lot of time. And I'm just going over my lashes with some great lash mascara. So that's the mascara done and the eyes done. And that's all I'm going to do, so it's really, really quick, but I think it's quite effective. I'm just going to give myself a bit of a bronze up. This is the Perfection Bronzer by Marks and Spencers, possibly my favourite bronzer of the whole of the summer. And now I'm just keeping it going a little bit into autumn before I change for a much, much kind of paler, paler colour. So just using a large powder brush as a shimmer. And going under the cheekbones just to give myself a little bit of shape and I'm down the notes. So much healthier colour there. And lipstick wise I'm going for Avon. This is quite a nude colour. I'm going to keep the lips you know very neutral. This is called Pout. Smells of strawberries. Bit of an added bonus. Now as you can see I don't go in for you know long-winded makeup this is just what I do to get out of the door but you know I use makeup that has really good textures that that's quite foolproof so you know it shouldn't really need a lot of work and I rely on my favourite beauty products just to be able to get me out of the door in very very little time so there we go that's what I've done for my makeup and hair wise obviously I'm not going to go like this i um, just going to give it a quick brush through I use a Mason Pearson hairbrush. I've had this for about goodness, 10 years. And I'm just going to finish off with some Moroccan Oil Glimmer Shine Spray, which just gives it kind of a glamorous, um, glamorous look. I'm just going to mist that over. It smells amazing. Really, really summery. Makes me feel like I want to go on holiday. That just gives it a little bit of definition and tames any flyaways and I think that's made it look really nice and shiny. So there, that's me. I'm ready to go to my casting. I've got my nails, I've got my face on. Um, my face feels very comfortable. You know, I've, I've done a good skincare regime before I put my makeup on, which again makes the makeup sit very nicely. And uh, yeah, I mean, that was really quick. So now I'm ready to go. I just need to get dressed properly and um, that's it, that's me getting ready for today's casting.